Okay, today we are going to focus on optimization, but with some economic um, applications. So to start, pause the video here, and I want you to write down these four definitions. So a cost function for a company is the cost of producing units. When you think of all of these equations that we're gonna work through today, all these problems, we're the company, we are the um, producer of the items or the units. You are not the consumer, you're not the shopper. So the cost function is what it costs to produce whatever um, product that company is selling. The average cost is you take the cost function and divide by the number of units to get the average cost per one unit. Revenue is the money you receive from selling that many units. And profit is revenue minus cost. That's the amount of money in the end. It's kind of like your, what you take home. So you use the money earned minus the output of the cost, that's your profit. So we're gonna apply this with number two here, but actually let me get to our reminders and then I'll come back and do number two. There is this video in the module and then there is the homework to submit in Canvas. Um, we're gonna say due today, since it is an asynchronous day. All right, so back to number two here. It says, given the revenue and the cost, what quantity is profit maximized? What is the total profit? So the first thing we have to do is find a profit equation. So profit is the revenue function minus the cost function. And these parentheses are important because you have to distribute the negative. So our profit equation is 450Q minus 1000 minus 3Q squared. To maximize, to find the maximum or the most, if we find the derivative and set it equal to zero, we will find the maximum or the minimum of a function. So let's find the profit derivative, P prime. Set that equation equal to zero, set the derivative equal to zero. We're gonna solve So Q is 90 units. No, it's not. That is wrong arithmetic. It's 75 units. Sorry about that. So Q is 75 units. So that is what quantity? Now, what is the total profit? So we're gonna go back up here to our profit function and substitute in 75 to the original profit, not the derivative, but the original profit equation. Take out your calculator or load the Desmos calculator. It's what I should have done here for my division that I messed up. Okay, so we've got 450 times 75 minus 1,000, minus three times 75, whoops, squared. So that is 1,000, no, 15,000, and this is money, $15,875 is the maximum profit. I'm going to circle both my answers. This is my answer, and this is my answer. The word marginal is used to describe the derivative when it comes to these economic concepts. Marginal cost is derivative of the cost. 
marginal average cost, derivative of marginal, sorry, derivative of average cost, marginal revenue, derivative of revenue, and so on. So marginal means derivative. Pause here for you to, or pause the video so you can copy that down into your packet and your notes. And then the, the derivative, so C prime is referred to as the marginal cost with production of Q units. That's because derivative is a rate of change. It's that slope. So then the derivative of cost or C prime is the rate at which the cost changes with respect to the number of units produced. It's that rate of change. Again, pause here, pause the video so you can write that down. And now here is your homework practice. Here is the problem set that you are gonna use the rest of this class time to practice and submit um, through Canvas. The answers are posted in Drive. These class notes will be posted like always in Drive for you to check yourself um, and make sure you got them right.